Hey everyone, it's Nathan from the Minecraft blog here, and today I want to show you guys a neat little trick that'll let you add uh, floating blocks like carpet and sand and gravel and stuff like that to your builds. Um, so as you see here, I've built like, you know, a little facade for a modern looking building, uh, but it's got these floating carpet blocks as an awning. So uh, how, do they, how do I do this? Well, the I, I'd say the immediate reaction is that, oh, you know, just put barrier blocks down. But as you can see, I can jump up into these, no problem. Well, I can assure you that uh, this it can be done without mods, without anything like that, without command blocks, um, perfectly in vanilla. Um, it could, I guess, even be done in survival mode. Um, it's actually a really simple trick. Um, we call this the rose trick, and it allows you to place carpet, sand, gravel, anything like that in midair, uh, stationary like this. So how do you do it? Uh, well, all you need in order to do this trick is, uh, you know, the block that you want to float, uh, a rose bush, and some dirt. So you want to start off by putting down the dirt about three blocks below where you want the actual floating blocks to be. Then you put down some roses on top of each block of dirt, and then you go ahead and place your carpet or gravel or whatever. And just for just for demonstration, let's put some sand and some gravel up here too. Alright, then the next thing you gotta do is Break the bottom block of each rose bush, and then you can remove the dirt. And as you can see, um, leaves these blocks floating in midair. Uh, you can walk on them, jump on them, whatever, and they work fine. However, um, you cannot place or break any blocks adjacent to them. So, for instance, if I try and break this carpet, they all fall off. Uh, so, why does this work? Well, uh, blocks that have um, for instance, blocks that, like, are sand, gravel, uh, carpet, stuff like that, they, um, are dependent on having a block underneath them, otherwise they'll either break or fall or whatever. Um, but the way that Minecraft is able to sort of, uh, detect whether or not these blocks should break or fall is through a system called block updates. So basically what that does is when you place a block, it sends a signal to any adjacent blocks saying, uh, you know, check to make sure that you can still be in this location. So if I break uh, this block of gravel, it triggers the block above it to update, and then it sees that there's no block below it, so it falls. Um, so that's a block update. Uh, block updates occur whenever you break or place a block. Uh, however, with the rose trick, um, for whatever reason, breaking the bottom block of the rose bush does not trigger a block update because it only uh, updates the top block of the roses. So for instance, we break this block here, it only updates this one and, you know, the ones around it, but it does not update the sand here. Um, so it causes... Basically, it causes the sand to remain in midair without being updated. Now, um, if you place a block beside it, that block will trigger an update on the sand, causing it to fall. Um, so, if you want to use this uh, trick to make, you know, awnings or, you know, stuff like that, um, I would recommend that you do the floating blocks last. Because um, if I did those first and then tried to make the building around it, as soon as I put these blocks beside it, they all the, the whole awning would fall down. So uh, that's the only stipulation, is that you have to do those last. But yeah, it's a pretty cool trick. Pretty easy to do. Um, so yeah, you can try this out. Creative, survival, whatever. Uh, so, hope this helps. Thanks for watching, guys. 